Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I really wanted to try out some 3D looking strawberry nails. So here I am going in with Candy Apple from CJP. I am just applying this acrylic to all of the nail. I am making sure the acrylic is thicker than usual, as you can see. I mean, it's still quite good to put a thick amount of acrylic when you're doing nails anyway, because you don't want the nails to be too thin and snap. So to be honest, the amount I'm putting on is probably the normal amount but I felt like it was just a little bit thicker than I normally do on a press on nail so for a press on nail I am applying it a little bit thicker than normal this is because I am going to go in with a 3d design Do excuse the state of my brush. As you can see, there are bristles poking out. I do need to cut them off. It is an old brush, but to be honest, it doesn't stop me using it because I absolutely love this brush. I think this is the bestie brush from Glitter Planet UK. It's definitely a Glitter Planet brush, but it's such good quality. I've had it for such a long time. I just cannot stop using it. It is amazing. I love it. So here I am going with a dot... With a, ugh, I can't speak. I think I'm talking too fast. <laughs> so here I am going in with a dotting tool and just creating some like dents for my strawberry seeds. So you want to make sure the acrylic starts to go a little bit matte. As you can see, you don't want the acrylic to be too wet. Otherwise, you're just going to like dip it into the acrylic and it's all going to kind of get stuck to your dotting tool and make a mess. So here I'm going in with banana from CJP and filling in those little holes with the strawberry seeds. I will be going in with sea foam to create my strawberry leaves. Don't these just look super cute? I did find that the yellow was a bit too bright, so I kind of went in around the edges with a bit more red, just to make it look like the red is bleeding into the yellow, like into the seed, because that's how strawberries normally look. They look really juicy, like they're kind of bleeding through into the seeds, if that makes sense. So I wanted it to look a bit more realistic, so I'm just going in with a bit more candy apple around the seeds. I also found that the seeds I created were a little bit too round, so I kind of wanted to make them a little bit more oval as well. So I'm just going in with Beetle's gel top coat. This top coat is amazing. The nails do look uneven and bumpy, but that's because I wanted it to look like that. I didn't want them to look flawless or smooth or anything. I really wanted them to look as textured as possible. So here I am going in with Beetle's gel top coat. I absolutely love this top coat. It is super shiny. So that's the end of my video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you want to see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video.